says an awful lot about this team. There was an awful lot said about them, but they showed great courage and conviction over the years, and now they've got the reward. And I do hope other counties, the likes of Down and that, will take heart and know that failure is only the fuel for success. A great day to be a rebel! You know, I suppose in, in the last 20 years, you know, like the Billy and Larry kept it going. I suppose we were very fortunate, you know, coming in to get such a group of fellas and, you know, the work that people like John Cleary and that had done at under-21 level, the likes of third-level colleges, Keith Ricken and people like that. Um, we were landed with a, a fantastic group of people and, you know, I suppose people who made it very hard for themselves in many ways, but, you know, I think it made it all the sweeter that they showed the ultimate resolve and got over the line. You know, it's, it's, it's more personal as a player and it, it's, it's for them achieving the ultimate. That's, that's the important thing, you know. Um, you know, they've taken responsibility and we've tried to facilitate that situation as best we can. And, you know, I think out there today they took control at vital stages and, um, you know, full credit to them. I, mean, like, I suppose we learn through experience, panic doesn't get us anywhere and, you know, we've just got to steady it down. I think as Graham said, we had a few opportunities early on, didn't finish them, so we were obviously creating a few faded a bit, came back a bit, so we knew, you know, that we hadn't played our best football yet, and um, you know, we knew if we could maintain our composure, then that would come, and, and thankfully it did. You know, I can, I can see it now, some of our guys weren't, weren't fit enough to start, uh, and clearly, you know, we weren't going to risk that, we were using the bench in the sense that, you know, if a guy isn't fully fit, then you, you, you hold him and, and put the guys in in front, that will do the hard running and, and grafting, and you know, maybe the fellow that's probably slightly uh, not as fit comes in then at a stage when the pace is right for him and also, you know, you balance that with a level of experience and we were very fortunate that the guys we were bringing in had the experience and the cameras to do the right things, you know, in terms of ratings or performance or that, you know, I said last year when I sat here that it was a results business, you know, that's as true today as it was the last day and, you know, um, look, people have been critical of us, maybe throughout the year, maybe we've deserved some of it. I don't know, but you know, um, also we've had an awful lot of positivity, you know, the amount of positivity that we've got, you know, from people, the support throughout the county and beyond it, you know, has been phenomenal and, you know, it, it certainly helped us an awful lot. You know, once, once we had went the back door route, you know, clearly we didn't know who was coming in the other side and we were purely focused on a game by game situation, it would be naive of us to do anything else and, you know, that has stood to us at the end of the day. In a sense, as I said, relief. You just sit back and, and enjoy, enjoy the moment. Um, some people have a different way of expressing it. Maybe some fellas might be seen at 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock tonight expressing it in a different way. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll try and hold ahead a small bit for now. We said at the outset of the year, you know, that you know, in terms of pressure, Graham has said it there. You know, you can bring that on, on yourself. You know. Uh, critics will say, look, you should be doing this, you should be doing that, and this guy is bad, and this guy is not. And if we're going to listen to that, we're going to get nowhere. So you have to maintain positivity, and the best way that we've managed that is, you know, ignore those people, those negative people and the critics, and, you know, look, there are some of those there, and, and some of them are quite legitimate. There are others, you know, who, unfortunately, whether it's sport or anything else, they do it on the basis of, you know, it earns, it earns dollars. Now, I'd have to say, in fairness to the people around here, I think they've been very reasonable to us. But, you know, some people are, are exploiting it in, in public and exploiting it in sport, and not just our sport. And, you know, I think that's, that's a wider reflection in society, and I'm probably not drifting away, but I do think, you know, positivity is the key to any success, whether it's us or anyone else, and you just shut down the negatives. You know, maybe, maybe it's difficult in the younger, but when you get older, you know, positive people, if you surround yourself with them, then you're going to get positive results. If you have negative people, you'll get negative results. And, you know, you just shut it down, you know, I mean, I myself haven't read you guys, but you've been reported to me. <laughs> I tell you, I'd find out which fellas are in trouble, 